Hi guys, welcome to Rasmo.com. This is Mohit Soni. What is in front of you is the 2022 Honda Amaze facelift. We are a bit late to uh, test drive this car, but it's going to be a quick review because uh, we know for a fact that if you follow our website, we told you over there that there are a few changes on the Amaze facelift. Uh, we've been uh, lucky enough to drive it for a couple of weeks and they have a very strong impression as always uh, there are certain things which haven't changed and there are certain things that uh, uh, you know have changed but uh, there are certain things which Honda needs to change uh, we'll tell you all about it and let's begin with the design uh, it's got that lines effect that is going on with the design so the upper grille has always been a big fat chrome bar but there are two more lines the lines can be seen here as well so it gives it a very textbook sort of look uh, at the front in the way it looks uh, and uh, it's got a fantastic sharp detailing on the headlamp now which looks makes it look even more impressive uh, as always I love the bonnet design it's a bit wide uh, the car can feel a bit wide when you are parking it uh, the alloy wheels continue to be very similar they are also 15 inch in size they are not 16 inch yet and uh, the side profile of course like any other facelift from Honda makes uh, sure that it remains the same it's a very very handsome looking uh, car we were really impressed in the way it looks so we are happy that Honda has not changed much with it and uh, for a very good reason at the back again uh, it was really impressive with the old tail lamps but the, they are the same tail lamps but on the inside you can see these are the lines uh, again that lines aspect uh, these creases that have been drawn inside makes it look really nice and fresh um, that's the reversing camera and a uh, very small boot release button here it could have been bigger there is even space for it but uh, Nevertheless, that is the big boot, uh, 400 litres can accommodate a lot of stuff, uh, suspension is not taking much of uh, space here as well and uh, going down you can see a space saver tyre with all the necessary kit and uh, this is a steel wheel not an alloy wheel and as you can see this is the VX variant in the automatic form, you get chrome handle bar, uh, handles uh, for the door handles, uh, you've got uh, turn indicators mounted on the screen, uh, on the mirror and uh, all LED lights with projector lamps, illumination and spread is good. Um, in the range it can be a bit dicey just like any other LED lights but uh, most of the time they work really well. You've got fog lamps as well which makes it look good. Let's go inside and see the web. We'll start from the back where this is the biggest plus point with the Honda Amaze is the amount of space you get at the back. Just look at the way how easily I'm getting in of the car with very good knee room, leg room. Uh, shoulder room of course is just about limited but it's still better than the Hyundai uh, Aura accent and uh, very good glass area uh, you've got your power window switch here with coin holders as well um, there is an armrest with cup can holders but again it keeps on touching the seat it's not uh, suspended like this you've got door pads here and uh, pretty good quality plastics all around uh, the adjustable headrest at the front make it impressive the back ones are not and uh, the seat belt also for the middle row of passenger is a lap one not a 3.1 uh, you've got a power socket here some space here and a very very nice recline i see myself sitting here for quite some time because the under thigh support also is good enough uh, but could have been better and uh, yeah that's it a very nice cabin to spend some time in very airy uh, very practical uh, honda continues with its you know man maximum machine minimum concept uh, after the boot, it's the rear space and then it's also at the front where you get a similar cabin as before. Uh, pedal shifters with automatic, no cruise control, uh, uh, no IR, uh, automatic IRVM, uh, the cabin lights are also yellow, um, everybody is giving it uh, uh, LEDs these days. The glove box is a medium size, not illuminated or chilled, AC works really well, power sockets are ample. Uh, got storage area here, 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 no armrest at the front in you know, a sedan is very surprising even on this slightly skimmed top end automatic variant, uh, Honda should charge and give the right amount of features, this is a digipad 2 with a good audio system, everything works better now, smoother, better, sharper and um, you can connect Apple CarPlay Android Auto, uh, it fairly uh, is well tuned and there is hardly any bugs. Um, uh, again it looks a little bit dated uh, the screen size also could have been better but uh, just like any other Honda uh, there were a big uh, certain amount of bugs in the first patch the second DC 2.0 here makes a world of a difference uh, it should be bug free uh, in our testing uh, it did not uh, show anything that's wrong uh, nor we've heard anything from uh, customers like you um, again uh, you know no cruise control, no air purifier, no all of that, no armrest. Honda needs to update the features list on this car because their mechanicals are so impressive. It needs to go with the feature list. But uh, Honda continues to concentrate on its, so, you know, space, uh, reliability and etc. So I think that's the interior. Um, 
that's the dope pad again spacious enough for the bottles and uh, that is it i guess so at the front and at the back on the inside let's discuss what it is like to drive so what is the honda amaze petrol automatic like to drive well what we're driving is the cvt version with uh, paddle shifters so enthusiast can uh, you know uh, uh, have fun at the same time uh, stay stress free in the city with the help of automatic uh, the rubber band effect is not there uh, by a huge margin there is a bit of it but uh, it's not uh, something that will stress you out uh, it will in fact make the overall traffic driving experience very stress free and uh, you can have control via the sport mode and the battle shifters which is really impressive the engine and vh levels are downright low but on a cold start uh, it can feel coarse for a couple of kilometers after that it smoothens out becomes very quiet very smooth very refined and the only noise that you hear inside the cabin is a bit of road noise and traffic noise uh, you know creeping in uh, apart from that this engine is the same 1.2 liter four cylinder motor making around 84 ps of power 113 newton meters of torque and uh, performance is good low end and mid range is just about okay top end it where it pulls and it pulls up to a decent 140 150 km an hour on a restricted segment is what we saw um this is very good performance uh, but uh, turbocharged engines offer much better performance uh, but uh, they don't match the sheer uh, fun to drive naturally aspirated honda motor that uh, you will never find anywhere else so that's the big point with the amaze is that it's very fun to drive the engine is very charismatic uh, and uh, even with the cvt it feels very very entertaining uh, to drive you can redline it hear it and uh, as we all enthusiasts know it's a uh, joy to hear the honda engine beat 1.2 1.5 or 2 liter the iv tech always uh, really impresses um drivability in the city is also really good it's mated well with the cvt so you will have always have torque on demand to you know accelerate out of the uh, city traffic gaps and uh, make your life stress free uh handling is good uh, body roll is well in check steering weighs up well on the highway it's light in the city it can feel a bit heavy uh at parking speeds for some reason i think that's pretty much there with almost every sub 4 meter car the moment you start rolling out uh, the steering becomes easier and better and lighter brakes are also good uh body roll is well in check uh turn and is very uh, very sharp and uh, there is of course a bit of understeer but uh, you won't be pushing this car every day all day long uh for most of the time it stays composed poised and flat and that's the big deal uh, it, it doesn't get unsettled very easily and the stability and the poised and the composure of this car through corners on straight lines is really really impressive and that's what makes the amaze fun to drive with this engine transmission combo along with the uh you know right handling balance a very good steering but could have been better uh, with good brakes on offer that what makes the amaze really really good the diesel petrol uh, diesel and petrol in both automatic and manual forms is really good the diesel cvt we were all praises about it last time uh sadly we've not driven it now uh but if we can we will and we let you know more uh, you know let you know about it if you subscribe to our channel you will get to know about it and uh Yeah, the Amaze continues to be fun to drive. Very impressive in terms of space, the way it looks, the front, side, and rear angles all look really impressive on the Amaze, and uh, that's the reason why it is uh, a very good seller in the segment. Of course, there is the Honda Aura, but uh, it cannot match the premiumness, the space, uh, what the Honda can in terms of ride and handling, and the charismatic and fuel-efficient diesel engine that it has. Uh, makes the Amaze the only choice in the segment to be considered because this is a car which you will love, love. We enjoy and you know driving. If you go for long drives, you will really appreciate this car over every other car in the segment. We can definitely tell you that. Of course, the prices are a bit high, but uh, you get the reliability, you get the resale value, you get the fuss free Honda service and uh, sales purchase, and that's what gives you that peace of mind with Honda. uh that is why we always recommend uh the amaze in the segment there are a lot of uh, competitors which have come and gone uh, there is of course the maruti desire as well but the amaze has always been our choice and it continues to be so thank you so much for watching this video guys make sure you like it share it subscribe to our channel uh, follow us on our website and social media for everyday updates until then goodbye